Earlier this afternoon, we heard from Governor Kathy Hochul, Mayor Byron Brown, Police Commissioner Joseph Grimalia, and other officials inside this firehouse, which is just about a block away from the top store where this all happened. Among the new details that we learned about the case, we got confirmation that the alleged shooter was here in Buffalo and inside that store on Friday, a day before the massacre. He uh, was in the Buffalo area. He was right in this area the day before. Um, the warrants on social media platforms, GPS technology, that's going to help us put a much better timeline. We have identified some of the locations that he was at. We know he did some uh, reconnaissance. There is much more to do from the social media companies themselves. I want them to sit in a room, look me in the eye and tell me if you've done everything humanly possible to make sure that you are monitoring this content the second it hits your platform. And if you're not, then I'm going to hold you responsible. So prove to me that there's nothing else that can be done because they have a lot of resources. So don't tell me you can't afford this. There's a lot of technology. The Buffalo police responded in less than two minutes after this incident began. And I want to say a special word of thanks to the Buffalo police officers because if not for their swift response and courageous actions, more lives probably would have been lost yesterday. The FBI is still looking for information on this case. If you have any tips, they've set up a special website, fbi.gov slash buffalo shooting. For now, I'm Lauren Hall reporting on Jefferson Avenue. Back to you.